Today's adventure brings us to the green pastures of Steveston. We're on the hunt for an abandoned ghost town. With me on camera as always is Rick Von Schmidt. We're on the West Dyke Trail headed towards Gary Point Park. And Rick, you want to share a map shot to show people where we are? Alright, we made it here to the park. Gary Point is a large waterfront park with spectacular vistas of the Salish Sea. And it looks like it's one way only on the trails today, Rick. COVID-19 pandemic stuff. And during the pandemic, people have been leaving inspirational stones around. This one is in front of the park's Fisherman's Memorial Needle, a tribute to all the brave local people who were lost at sea. And here's another one by the old Scotch Pond. The Scotch Pond has designation as one of Canada's historic places for its indigenous Japanese and Scottish significance. All right, I see the ghost town in the distance. We're getting closer here, Rick. The ghost town was abandoned on Friday, March 13th. It is the set of a brand new Netflix series called Midnight Mass. And it sounds like a spooky one. It's about an isolated island community that experiences miraculous events and frightening omens after the arrival of a charismatic, mysterious young priest. They built an incredible little town here with lots of amazing detail. And just as they were about to start shooting, they shut it down due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And it's been deserted ever since. Midnight Mass was created by Mike Flanagan, an expert in the horror genre. And some big name stars were in their trailers learning their lines ready to go when they got the bad news of the shutdown. I'm talking about beautiful, talented stars like Kristen Lehman, Annabeth Gish, Kate Siegel, and Henry Thomas. This guy looks kind of familiar, Rick. Henry Thomas. Oh, yeah, Henry Thomas starred in that 1982 movie about that little alien creature. What was that called? I can't remember. And Rick, you want to put up the logo at Midnight Mass while I take this call? Hello? E.T. Who is this? E.T. Who's calling? E.T. Listen, pal, I'm doing a vlog for the people, so can you call back later? Elliot. Vancouver is known as Hollywood North, and there are always lots of productions here. Just like other industries, entertainment production has been hit hard by the COVID-19 shutdowns. The sector employs 70,000 people here and contributes over $3 billion in production spending each year. In addition to Midnight Mass, more than 50 other shows were shut down, and several of them were with Netflix, including Another Life with Katie Sackhoff. Pieces of Her with Tony Collette and Unforgiven with Sandra Bullock. At Midnight Mass, looks like it could be their biggest hit. The size of this set and the detail is incredible. I wonder if the interior scenes will be here or in a studio somewhere else. It's too bad there's a big security fence here and we can't get in there. Yeah, here's hoping things will get back to normal soon and this ghost town will be full of life. Maybe we'll Get to meet Henry Thomas and ask him the name of that big 1982 movie. Yeah, and that's going to do it. We're going to wrap things up here on the beach, enjoying the sunset over the Salish Sea. Hope you enjoyed this little taste of old Steveston as she once was. My thanks to Bev Sugarman for makeup and Jewel Hailmere for wardrobe. On behalf of Rick and myself, thanks for watching. And until next time, that's a good bee. E.T. Get out of here.